Hi, I'm Emma Small, occupational therapist and co-founder of Risk Managed. We work with disability organisations to keep their care workers injury free and so that people with a disability can experience exceptional quality care. I'm making this video today because I'm really concerned around what I'm seeing out there in relation to people being transported by disability organisations and how unsafe they are for all parties involved. So for the person travelling, they're at risk of significant injury or even death because they're not being secured in a way that's safe for when they're travelling in a vehicle. For the support workers, it can be an incredibly physically demanding job and they can be stressed and they're telling me that they simply aren't being trained or they're not aware of how to go about doing this job safely. And for all levels of management in a disability organisation, I'm concerned because we're simply not meeting our duty of care and workplace health and safety legislation. So what are the common mistakes we're seeing occurring out there that's creating this problem? The first one is that the care workers are often thrown a set of keys and expected to go out and do this job competently without any training. Or if they're provided training, it's usually by a colleague or someone within the organisation that isn't aware of the safe way to go about the task and therefore they're training poor habits and unsafe work practices. The second thing that we're seeing out there is that disability organisations are under the impression that a generic disability accessible van or bus um, will meet everyone's needs and that there's a one size fits all approach. And this simply just doesn't work for everyone. And the third thing or the third mistake we're seeing out there is that disability organisations and their support workers simply aren't aware of all the great innovative equipment that is available to make the job a lot easier and for those travelling safer. So what can we do about this? There's three principles that we feel, if they're applied, will resolve these issues. The first one is we recommend undertaking a manual handling risk assessment, what we call a transport assessment, by a manual handling specialist. So they'll have a look at the needs of the people travelling, your support workers and what they need to do and provide recommendations around the equipment that will help to make the job easier and recommendations on how to make the job safer and um, more comfortable for all those involved. Secondly, we recommend that the disability organisation then takes those recommendations and works with an equipment supplier that are specialists in the area of transport. They'll have a look at everyone's needs and give you options around the best floor plan for your vehicle, how to increase the access and the equipment that's best suited for your van. And the third thing, we highly recommend that your organisation has a system in place to schedule, repeat, task specific, manual handling training around transport and how to do this competently and safely before any support worker starts transporting within your organisation. At the end of the day, we want to enable people with a disability to get out and about in the community safely, comfortably and in a dignified way. We would love to hear about um, if you're nailing this area and doing it really well, hit us up in the comments below. Also, if you'd like some additional resources to support you in this area, jump on our website, riskmanaged.com.au. You'll find a video series for support workers. They can access for this for free. And it's got lots of tips and tricks on how to use wheelchairs safely in the community and make the job a lot more comfortable and easier for everyone involved. Thanks.